morning, everybody. Good morning. Uh, my name is Sam Hart. I work for Red Wagon Network, and we started this a uh, quite a few months ago, almost a year ago actually, on the development of integrating into businesses and what are businesses looking for. What do cumulatively, if you went and interviewed every single business, little business, small business out there, what are some of the key factors that make them succeed or that they don't do to, in essence, help them grow and help them become more. So I've got a quick one and a half minute video. It's about red wagons, and raise your hand if you had a red wagon as a kid. <laughs> Almost every time we ask somebody, do you have a story affiliated with that? Absolutely. Either they had an adventure, rolling down a hill, and I see a couple guys laughing in the back, um, rolling down a hill, crashing, rolling, playing. Uh, one of my favorite stories is a, a young girl, seven years old, created a mobile lemonade stand, walked around to every neighborhood, every house in her neighborhood, and got them to buy lemonade from her mobile lemonade stand. So it becomes, in essence, a tool that that tool allows you to do more and be more in that moment. So here's a fun video. Well, that's why I think it's a tool for achievement. Let's see here. It allows you to create a connection. One day it's a, a race car going around and walk as fast as it can. But in the time, where you move about concerning your final destination. It's about what you're doing now, doing this morning. The next day, it's a, a treasure collector. You take it up and down the street, that kind of shiny diamonds on the brush. Sometimes you use it to push or pull or take things from point A to point B. It's about achievement and getting an accomplishment. Sometimes you have group accomplishment, where you bring your friends, your family with you. It's more important you bring them than you Relationships that sometimes last a lifetime. Or what about it challenges your imagination and helps with adversity? It's more about what you can create, what you can be, than what you're missing. It also develops feelings, feelings of achievement, of importance and direction. And I think most of all, of purpose. A red wagon is a statement of life for undefinable achievement, where it represents our ability to be more. To be more. The red wagon is a catalyst for endless possibility. The possibility of teams, of, of communities that have similar experiences. It brings you to people that have knowledge and experience in fields that you're looking for. Join our network, and you're committed to achieve your dreams. We want to help you play, enjoy, and revel in this one chance life. Thank you for coming to our Red Wagon Network. So that's us. We want to play. We want to integrate into the community on the basis of something that you had as a kid that gave you a tool, a tool to do more and be more. That's what we want to help provide. So what we do is connect. We connect businesses, we connect people, and we connect the community in a lot of different ways. My goal is to have fun doing it. So we have to put on the nice jacket, but seriously, people, I mean, it's about having fun, playful integration into the community. So we get to know you. Uh, 53 Fridays I did a presentation. I go in and I work for free for one day. I become a one-day employee in a different business every week. I want to know what you're doing, how you do it, and why you do it. At the end of that day, I ask as many questions as I can about what makes you successful so I can learn more about local businesses. We do integration. So we're learning from one business. Another business may need some of that knowledge or something that they do. So we start to partner up businesses that need something that either somebody else knows really well or vice versa. Gaining knowledge, again, it's about the experience. I've been a contractor most of my life. If I was going to go tile a floor and had never tiled a floor, I'm going to watch videos, I'm going to read books, I'm going to go talk to contractors. At the end of the day, the experience is what gives me the most of the knowledge. So when I start tiling that floor, that's when the books, the videos, the conversations come to fruition. That's the knowledge. So we're doing Red Wagon Network is the experience of business integration. Introductions, going to everybody we meet in the community. How can we help them achieve that? And ultimately running events. So the events are where we're really having some fun. And then lots and lots of coffee. This becomes our office meeting after quite a bit. Events. We did uh, this Saturday, June 13th, we put together in very short notes, we were asked from the Tour de Nez bike race community to help them expand their community outreach. So we did a fundraiser in a, a cool event called the Parade of Wagons, where we're getting 50 businesses to sponsor a wagon. They come down, walk down California Street, pulling that wagon. We're getting some pretty good media and attention out of it, and we're collecting food, shoes, and lunch. 
The food goes to the Northern Nevada Food Pantry. The shoes go to Think Kindness and Anti-Bullying Campaign. And the luggage goes to the homeless shelter. Fun experience with the homeless shelter, Pat Cashel, um, the, the ex-mayor's son, runs the homeless shelter. So I went in and spent about two hours with him a couple weeks ago and walked through the facility. And if you've never been there, I, rec I recommend not going. It's, it's a painful reality of what Reno has in their back pocket. And I spent two hours. At the end of the two hours, I walked away almost in tears because it's such a hard reality that we have in our own back And on the course of that, one of the conversations that comes up is what does the community want to support? Do we need more money? No, we have government funding. You know, the reality is we can't raise enough money to give back what these guys need. So we have some of that taken care of. We need clothes. No, we have outlets for that. We need food. No, we have accommodations for that. And they took me into the closet. And if you stay at the homeless shelter, everybody gets a cup. And the entire closet was filled up with garbage bags of their lives. You cannot get on public transit with the garbage bag. You can't go to Sacramento with the weather's cold with the garbage bag. You can't get to the other side of town on a bus with the garbage bag. They won't let them on. 20% of the people in there have luggage. Those 20% tend to take better care of themselves. They have the ability to travel and transport. They're the ones that get the jobs first. So we're doing a fundraiser to, get, to gather luggage, suitcase. Um, so food, shoes, and luggage, fun way to help these events. Uh, car giveaway. Next month we have one of our vendors that participates in Red Wagon Network is giving a car to our ability to outreach the community. So we're collecting stories starting next month on who needs the car, what's the story about, where would this car go? And then we raise sponsorship funds to sponsor that car, sponsor that family to cover their costs of gas, um, of registration, and anything else we can do to make sure that that car's end result is positive reach into the community. We're getting sponsorships to sponsor that car so we can do the next month. And the next month, and the next month. And our goal with Red Wagon, and I'm a lofty goal sitter, is one month, one car a month for 12 months. And so by doing that, we're integrating into the community and representing something that is different and playful and can be a fact. Competitions, we're putting together a photo competition and a lot of other things that will capture Reno. And the winners get prizes, awards, have some fun. Pick your wagon as we've gone out and done this parade wagon. We're having some of the local businesses and business owners say, yeah, this is really cool, can we decorate it? I have a lot of mechanic that's going to put hydraulics on it and make it bounce. We've got a, one of the, the painted wine places that's going to paint it up and make it beautiful. And now they're having a class once a month on painting the wagon. So a pick and wagon becomes something fun and entertaining. Uh, entertainment side of things, we're hosting events once a month with some of the vendors that are part of our network to really capture and motivate people to get involved with the local businesses in the community. Education, we're leading classes. Um, we have a gal that just moved up here from Los Angeles that was the head of the Board of Nutrition for the Olympic team for the last two years, for the last two Olympics. And she's just moved up here, she's retired, she's looking for a way to educate and get back to this community. So we're putting on classes for her to go in and teach about the power of nutrition, diet, and exercise, and how to take better, better care of yourself from her perspective. And her perspective is, is pretty decent. Um, exploration, I want to play. So I'm looking for more places to get into with my 53 Fridays campaign, for our company to get into, to have more fun doing events, and local campaigns like the parade wagon and the car giveaway. Ultimately, I want to play. So supporting a business, one thing that we do, when you sign up for, to become a member of our Red Wagon Network, there's a $47 annual fee. That $47 does a lot of things. One thing it does is it supports local programs and local businesses. So 1MC, if you haven't heard before, is doing a fundraiser to be able to get a better PA system. And that PA system on the low end is, is $3,000 on the high end, a pretty decent one is $6,000. So we're asking for help to do that. Every member that signs up with the Red Wagon Network 30% of the proceeds, $2, goes to 1MC with this ID code. We can create a unique ID code for any business to do a fundraiser for themselves. And so they sit their friends and family and patrons to join Red Wagon Network and get $15 donated back to that cause. What you get. So community programs, here's a couple other ones that we're doing. The parade wagons, we're looking for funding to be able to maximize the work of that next year. Um, for today, community outreach. I'm a cyclist, so I support this one. We have a lot of the other cyclists to be able to make the Tour de race next year a bigger, more fun, more exciting community program, and the car giveaway so that we can pay for the insurance, registration, and everything to help that family. We help create solutions, and you give them incredible thank you.
the thank you that you get is every business, every vendor that signs up to be represented on the Red Dragon Network is giving something away a month. And we'll get into that in one moment. So we're going to walk through the website and answer questions and kind of explain how we do that and why we do that and what you get when you sign up. And my question today, would you sign up for us? Would you join us? And if not, why? What am I missing in our presentation on our polls that you guys, what, what's that role? So we just launched this platform about a week ago. Our web designer has been working late nights. I know because we got off the phone with him pretty late last night to finalize a couple of the things that I'll present today. Zachary Draper is a brilliant web designer. He's um, done some awesome things. We'll be able to walk you through some of what that is. And again, my ask, would you join? And if not, why? And our, uh, our tagline is tag your rail. I have signed it every single time he sees me. It's going to be double tag written on tag backs. And we'll play those. And we go to the game five minutes later. And we'll give him five minutes later. It's my own play. And the tag, you're it. Right, help you figure out what I'm missing. Or what I have. So. Nothing. We ask two things. It's, it's, it's three, but it's not. You're getting 10% off. 
And you're only giving 10% off if they come and use it. So it only costs you anything if you participate. So our goal is to help you, you become our sales force. You're introducing Red Wagon Network. If you guys have been here long enough, there's Red Wagon Network parts on the next to the cash register here at Swill. Um, our goal is to have you have a display so people come up and grab that part. And if we're in enough businesses in enough locations doing enough community outreach program, people start to know who Red Wagon Network is. If the value is there, my app, my, my hope is that people see the value and can become a member of that. And for $47 a year, $3.93 a month, you get it back on to me. We're looking for integrity, and that's a good question. Um, we're not going to become the chamber. I don't want 2,500 businesses on this list. So my goal, when I go and meet with a business and a vendor, I want to know that they're, they're passionate about community outreach, that they have integrity, that they get involved, that they give back is one of the biggest things that I want to know about. Um, and, and the more that you give back, the more that you get involved, the more community-based you are, the more I want you part of our team. And one of the questions I had when I was doing my 53 Fridays is, what's your community outreach? And I have Matt Balzer owns Reno Running Company. He's got a list of 7,400 emails of people that have bought something from him over the last two years. He's the most expensive shoe store in Reno. He's also the most successful shoe store in Reno. Why? Because he gives away a lot. He does free gate analysis, which is how you run. They do video recording and have a specialist come and watch you run in their facility to help you learn how to run better and to help make sure that you have the right pair of shoes for your feet. Um, they do classes on a regular basis, they do community runs, so they do a lot to give back to the community, and the community that supports them is willing to spend a little bit more because they give so much. Uh, yoga Studio in Midtown has a list of 6,300 emails of people that have taken yoga from her over the last four years. So 6,300 people taking yoga, she has an incredible ability to connect with her people. Uh, another company, Squeeze In, has 84,000 contacts with people that have joined the yoga program. So what are they doing? that is incentivizing people to do to, to play with them, to come back to them on a regular basis. They're giving back. In every situation of the businesses that I talked to that have amassed a huge amount of participation, one of the key components was giving back. Thank you. 
and the membership is getting access to all of the discounts, all of the, the, the fun things that the businesses are giving away. And why would you or why would you not sign up? So I think what everyone's saying is that the message is too blurry to okay. understand why you're paying for this blocks, or why is the business owner going to give away 10% of my work? Okay. And not hard for them. Yeah. Why is um, So you may want to consider having two, not two separate websites, but maybe like for businesses that here, and then that way they can get a separate video yep. that is telling a different message, right? Okay. Um, second thing I was going to ask is, you said you don't want to be the chamber. You talked about you know getting about five new businesses. A week. Two, two hundred, yeah, five five businesses a week. We're going to cap at about two hundred businesses, and and see where we're at with that and stabilize from, from that perspective. Um, and, and one of the things, Squeeze In has 84,000 contacts that people have joined their day the program. Uh, we have a massage therapist that has 1,500 people that follow her on a regular basis on education and promotion of taking care of your body. We have a wellness center that's got 3,500 people that regularly visit her site and become informed because they love the information and, and being part of her community. So the ask is that can we cumulatively, I know that there's plenty of different health and wellness programs in regional. <coughs> is there any reason why we don't work together a little bit more to have better community outreach? And the reality is people go to a specific place because they like that specific place. I'm not going to go over here when I love here. But there's plenty of room to do both. I'm going to come to Swill when I'm in this neighborhood. I'm going to go to Hub when I'm over in that neighborhood. I'm going to go to Egos when I'm down south. So at the end of the day, if I get a discount on all of them, that's really cool for me. Ten percent generally is not enough to hurt the business. I don't want to be living social in Utah, and we don't take any money from that perspective from the business. And it's a fun way to say thank you to the patrons that, that go there on a regular basis. That's cool. I get, it's a loyalty program on steroids. Instead of just one business, it's as many as possible as I can find that represent what we want to represent to do what we want to do. So does anybody have a punch card pass that they use on a regular basis in any program to week? A couple of people. My wife does. And she won't go shop anywhere else unless they have 10 hundred hard packs. So we want to be that 10 hundred hard packs for the right businesses. It doesn't expire. There was a, I, I missed a lot of it, so I don't necessarily know. But you had a, um, a fairly large list of causes or goals. And one of them said you know, three to $6,000 for a, for a PA system. Yep. I'm curious, um, why? Why the PA system? Yeah, and what's it, what's it actually going to do? It helps give them the ability to do their program better. The sound from every aspect is better. Presentation is better. They can go to different locations and do their their presentation. So it's it's a goal for that business. And what I'm seeing needs is, is looking to, to raise funds for that. They've, they've kind of got halfway there. So they're making progress to it. It's their goal. And it's their appeal. Oh, it's, it's their goal and not yours. It, it, well, it's, it's my goal to help them achieve that. It's something that you guys already participated in. Okay. So think of it as a crowdfunding platform. Is I just sounds rather rich to, for, for whatever I understood it, but, but I don't understand this. Um, something that we could so, talk to Zachary and, and, and actually, I got one other question too. Yeah. Because you mentioned luggage. Yes. And is What's your criteria on luggage? Custom and functional. Backpack, well, okay. duffel bag, functional. functional. Well, you, there's brand sales all over town that just are loaded with luggage. Yes. That they want to get rid of, rid of depending on who it is, they're cheap or retail price. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. We have actually a couple businesses that are specifically doing garage sale and for luggage. So that's. Yeah, that's a good point. So part of the actual benefit for the business, although I'm you know, extremely ten percent of the way, um, you also go in and think and give them one day of business consulting. And to some is degree, and, and yes. So my goal is to get to know the businesses that are working with us. And oftentimes the more businesses that come into our program, the less time I have. So we have I'm looking for and I'm talking to other people that I love doing fun research and are good workers, um, energetic, present well, speak well, and write well. So we write a blog about our experience, we post a blog about the positives of that business. 
if there are negatives and while this is not what I expected, then we chalk it up to an educational experience and offer them a consultation from our perspective of doing this a lot on what you're missing or, or wow, we saw some things that we could really get some value back if you will. Um, my goal is to have that be free. I want to I know and help this.